In the areas sprayed, what was once triple canopy jungle has been reduced to invasive grasses and shrubs. Scientists estimate the dioxin will remain in the soil for four to 500 years. So if we go across, find ourselves the, the drainage ditch from the base, walk across and up a little, we should get it. We started doing our dioxin research in Vietnam in 1994, which was only a couple of years after the country had opened up to the outside world. We uh, transferred our knowledge and expertise in dioxin research in Canada on pulp mills to the situation here in Vietnam. We chose the Alloway Valley as our study area, particularly because it is a very isolated area. It's a very strategic location on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which was very heavily bombed and sprayed repeatedly with Agent Orange uh, throughout the, the American War. Okay, so I'm just probing for a location that has no resistance. So when we take a sample, we're not going to hit anything dangerous. This area was bombed, and perhaps there's bombies or unexploded ordnance here. Uh, the main threat we're concerned about is mines. They have an immediate reaction if you step on them. Following our surveys, we nailed it down that dioxins were especially prevalent in very high concentrations around the former Asso military base, and it was especially found in high concentrations in the soils as well as in the duck fat and fish fat. The levels we're finding in people here in Alloway are amongst the highest in the world. We've also shown through some preliminary studies that the rates of birth defects here are higher than in other areas of Vietnam. You're seeing long-term impacts of Agent Orange and dioxin through many generations, I guess for a couple reasons. One is genetics passing from soldiers and people who are exposed passing it on to their children. Secondly, and perhaps most importantly, um, is you're also seeing continual exposure in the environment to this day. The cultivation of the fields in these highly contaminated areas, it wakes up the dioxin that's buried in the soils. This has then now made it uh, readily available to the, the people. It's entering their bodies and then they are passing the dioxin to their children through, just through the genes or also through the breast milk. The only real means of removing dioxins from the soil is through burning or incineration. It would cost billions of dollars. What can be done and what we have been doing here is, is trying to educate people uh, through awareness programs, trying to teach uh, the residents how to avoid contamination. We've clearly demonstrated that 35 years following the spraying in Vietnam, uh, it's still an issue. It's not a historical issue, it's, um, it's an issue that's still affecting people to this day. What we haven't been able to demonstrate is the direct linkage between Agent Orange concentrations in people and uh, birth defects. The U.S. is currently negotiating with the Vietnamese to this end, but these negotiations will take years to be completed.